Good morning, folks. We've got several interesting articles to see. We'll look at an odd exoplanet situation, some reasons why coastal solar storm impacts are expected to be more intense, and a bit on Dansgaard Oeschger 1500-year cycle of major Earth changes. We'll start with our star, and the top event of the last day was an M3 solar flare top right quadrant. It did not produce a CME, but we've got several active regions on the Earth facing half of the Sun at the moment. We are also looking at a more significant population of plasma filaments. A number of good-sized plasma ropes are in the corona, and a couple of them had near destabilization events already this morning. We'll definitely be keeping an eye on those and the sunspots for more eruptive activity today. Let's go ahead and fly out to a star that was recently targeted for closer inspection and find something interesting in the radio wavelengths close in orbit of the system. As the brightness of the star is pierced in other wavelengths, we can see that a confirmed close-in exoplanet is not alone in its orbit. They are not sure if it's a sibling exoplanet or a cloud of material sharing that same orbit, but it's definitely got a companion orbiting in the same region as it orbits, something not expected or seen at other systems. Good paper here on the geoelectric fields at coastlines. The coastlines themselves act as a conductor as relevant as any man-made structure or geological feature in the crust. As repeated studies have demonstrated, the enhanced electric currents at these locations are pretty severe. For veteran observers, that's just one more reason it's risky to be positioned at a coastal region. Last but not least, a study of the Dansgaard Oeschger cycles that honestly, really, really tried to look for something other than the sun to blame on these periodic shifts in the Earth system. However, after confirming they are the same kind of rapid shift that we are seeing on Earth now, they eventually had to come back to the sun, but not to accumulated effects, and even though they don't examine it in the paper, that would be the instantaneous effects of the millennial super flare activity cycle we've seen described in dozens of other papers. We greatly appreciate your support. Learn more about these major change cycles and the sun's impact in the Earth disaster video and other resources linked below in the description box. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.